And we're inching closer to the hot summer month of July with temperatures continuing to rise. That's why officials want you to be safe and hydrated in the sun or avoid it altogether. But that's difficult for those with no roof over their heads. Five News reporter Jose Carranza shows us how the homeless population is facing the heat with the help of Fayetteville nonprofits. The heat is bearing down on Arkansas as summer 2024 reaches its highest temperatures. This time of year, we typically see about one heat-related call every day. Captain Doug McCraddock at Central EMS says during those calls, the battle against you and the sun is about cooling down. We strip them down, fill them with fluids, try to get them rehydrated and cooled off as quickly as possible. Now you could avoid the sun altogether, but that's not so simple for everyone. You have the ability to go and flip that thermometer down or up, but people that are experiencing homelessness, they don't have that privilege. You know, they have to seek out places to make sure that their body is cooled down or, or warmed up. Christina Andazola is a development associate at Seven Hills, a place important for the homeless population, keeping a summer stock of water, electrolytes, cooling rags, ice, misters, shade, and air conditioning. We want to make sure and try to do everything we can here at Seven Hills to make sure people are beating the heat. One population finding Seven Hills help this summer, Andazola says the elderly experiencing homelessness are coming for help too. They're faced with a fixed income in an area seeing rising cost. That's why Seven Hills has become crucial for medical care and storing medicine. It's always extremely difficult when you have medical issues that come into play when you are experiencing homelessness because that's more than just one barrier that you're trying to break. Places like Seven Hills and other nonprofits, they're able to do that. They stick it in the fridge there, help them out with their insulin maybe, or have you know, electricity so that they can plug in a breathing machine if they need to. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Seven Hills says they're in need of those cooling supplies as they continue to help keep cool through the summer. You can make donations at their South School location from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday.